tape right now. Rick Santelli standing by at the CME in Chicago. Rick, what are the numbers? Yes, Joe, this is our March read, of course, on housing starts. 1,739,000 above expectations, well above our last look. And if we look at permits, 1,766,000, very close to the zip code of expectations, which were 1.750 or one and three quarters million. And in the rear view mirror, a positive revision making last month's less negative. Uh, originally released at 1.68, moves up to 1.7. Two million. Now, we know the issues with housing, affordability, single-family homes. Wall Street Journal article today said there's a shortage, almost 4 million. I think their exact number was 3.8 million. We need 3.8 million more single-family homes. Everybody, of course, seems to be at least to some extent migrating from multi-dwelling or city living to maybe out in the burbs, single-family. And this dynamic really is the issue. Diana Olick has been talking about it for quite a while so whether it's the amount or the affordability, I uh, think commodities, lumber prices, copper prices, it all seems to be working against some of the big positives we've experienced, but at least in the headline number of housing starts, and we'll have to break it down in a single family and multi-dwelling, which I can't do with the data I see across the wires. That will be the defining information regarding this number. Joe, back to you. If only we had Diane Olick... Uh with us, you just referenced. To, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Diana, are you really here with more reaction? I'm really yeah. here. And I that's, really that's have amazing. that information for that's, you on single Steve's family versus multi. <laughs> awesome. Leesman's here too. Go on, well, Diana. Yeah, I'll just say that uh, single family actually did really well in housing starts as well, up 15% for the month, up multifamily up 30%. But the multifamily number is a little more hinky. It, it tends to be very volatile. So that single family is a great number on housing starts. I want to say one thing. We want to throw out all of the year-over-year -year comparisons for March, April, May, because we know that the housing market home construction ground to a complete halt last year at this time when the pandemic struck. So we want to only look at those monthly num numbers. You'll see a 41% increase in starts from a year ago. That's that's not worth noting. So the 15 percent, yes. But Rick mentioned something very important, and that is that the builders are very concerned about rising prices for lumber, which this week alone set two new record highs in lumber futures. And that is holding them back just a little bit. Also interesting in the builder sentiment yesterday, we saw that buyer traffic and current sales are still doing really well. But sales expectations over the next six months were lower. And that speaks to what the builders are seeing about demand going forward. And a lot of that may have to do with prices. So when we look at permits, we see permits up 4.6% month to month, not as much as starts. And that's on single family specifically. So not quite as bullish going forward, but very strong right now. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.